I'm just calling you to see how you're doing, number one. I know you have a house here that you might be interested in selling. That's why I was calling, if you just want to get to the point. See, when people react that way, then it makes me react a certain kind of way. Because I know that I'm here for them. What's up, guys? I appreciate you bearing with me and being on screen. I'm at my nine to five, so kind of breaking the rules. So <clears throat> I had a question for you because you said that, you know, oftentimes we get caught up in you know, closing the deal and what's in it for us. Yeah. What are some basic principles on the phones that we could implement that allows us to kind of remove our selfish desires from the call and really focus on the clients? Like, what are some practical things that you do to keep that in the forefront of your mind when you're on the phone? I'm so glad you asked that, man. So just while I got you, what, give me a typical general script that you're using now so that I can kind of Tell you how to tran you know, translate that. So I'm pretty new, so bear with me. Uh, I've just been buying leads and calling the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So I said, um, you know, hey, Ricky. Yeah. Hey, Ricky, this is Tanner. I was just getting back to you in regards to the inquiry that you had made on our website about 123 Main Street. Are you still looking to sell that property? Okay. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Perfect. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about what's going on with it and what led you to punch your information into the website there. Okay, okay. That's actually pretty good, right? Because you're you're basically finding out, does he want to sell? And then you're kind of basically, in so many words, you're asking why. You know, like what, ha what made you do that? Now, right there is where the rubber hits the road because based on his answer of why he wants to do this, that's where you're going to take the conversation you know, whatever way you need to, to help him through whatever, like he could say, I don't know. Uh, I could, I would, I, you know, I just figured the market's still really high and I would, you know, if I can get this price, I would. Well, that's not a very motivated person if that price is way high and you kind of know kind of how, where to go with that. You know, well, sir, here's the actual price. You know, do you actually want to sell? You know, it doesn't really sound like you do. Or he might say, my daughter's graduating college in three months. We don't need the extra bedroom. When she leaves, we're going to downgrade. We want to live on the water. And um, that's what it is. Oh, great. Like, that's more motivation. They may not be in a hurry, but still, right? Based on the story, guys, if you can get people to tell you stories, they didn't wake up one day and say, I want to buy something. I want to sell something for no reason. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's something going on in their life that's causing them to make this decision. And when you can when you can figure out what that is, that's when you've really started started to make a connection. And if you can relate to the reason, the real reason behind why they're doing this, when they open up to you and tell you that story, that's when you know that you're heading in the right direction, right? Now, here's what I would do though, Tanner. Um, I would be like, hey, Ricky, hey, Ricky, you know, and, and what, what company are you with? Like, what are you saying you're at a company or anything? You're just saying, hey, this is Tanner. Yeah, just Tanner? Yeah. Are you using your last name at all? Or are you, okay. I, I am, but people, I mean, it's not a great last name. So people are like, what? It's a, it's a, I mean, come on, bro. It's, it's an incredible <laughs> last name. Um, so, you know, I would be proud of that name. So, um, but like w what I would do is I wouldn't necessarily go straight into the pro about the property. Right, I would kind of chop it up a little bit because what I'm trying to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is collect data. So when I when I throw out a question or, or a response of some sort um, to my prospect, I'm listening. I'm trying to hear how they're going to answer it. Right, when it comes to speed of voice, tone, are they up? Are they down? Are they busy? Are they talking fast? What kind of their personality? What's going on here? I can learn all that by just listening to how they respond in the beginning. And so when I say, "Hey, Mr. Johnson," Number one, I'm going to say that with enthusiasm. Hey, Ricky. Because what I want them to do, guys, now hear this. What I, I want them when they answer the phone and they hear me say, hey, Ricky, I want them to think, who the heck is this? But not a who the hell is this. I don't think, a who, like, who in the crap is this? But, man, this person sounds familiar. I want them to think, who the heck is this? Is, it, is this Johnny? Is this, is this little Bo Pete? Is this, is this my cousin? <laughs> is this my cousin? Is this my, you know, best friend from high school? Is this <laughs> Johnny? So, you know, it's like, hey, Mr. Johnson, you know, hey, Mr. Johnson, it's Tanner. How you doing today? 
right? And they're like, oh, I'm doing good. Now, a lot of people say, don't say that part, the how you doing. Oh, you don't know them, so you don't have the right to ask them how they're doing. Well, how am I going to begin, how am I going to get to know them if I don't know how they're doing? <laughs> That's ridiculous. But anyway, I can go around and around with like the mainstream, the gurus, the this and the that's. I've been around the block with all those guys um, face to face and on videos and stuff. But I want to know, it, listen, it comes from a place of genuine curiosity. Like I want to know how they're doing. I really want to know because if I can't establish that, then I, I'm so genuinely curious about how they're doing. I hate to spend so much time on that part, but it's so, so key because listen to me. Hey, Mr. Johnson, he responds and says, hey, I listened to that. I'm like, okay, I'm collecting data. Cool. Hey, it's, it's Tanner over here. How you doing today? You know, um, and he responds, I'm listening. Since you're not saying a company, he may respond with Tanner with who or who Tanner, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You can answer that however you want to. And then move into, I like to talk about the weather. Oh, cool. Well, listen, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm listening for his response. I'm collecting more data before I even get to the sales part of the call at all. I've, I've had so many data collection points already before I even get to the actual part where I want to talk about what I want to talk about. And so now all the data I've collected about how I think he's doing today and how I, because I've made so many calls that as soon as I, they answer and I can hear that first or second response, I know how the whole call is going to go. I've already, I've already been there and done that. And then I'm going to go into, listen, I don't want to take too much of your time today. Now I'm respecting his time. I'm not asking him if now's a good time. If I ask and he may say, no, it's not a good time. Well, why did you answer the phone? <laughs> like, why did you answer the phone then if it's not a good time? So I don't have to ask him if it's a good time. I know it's a good time because he answered, but I still want to respect his time. So I want to, I want to make a statement. Hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I saw that you were tinkering around on our website or whatever about your house. I was just calling about that and seeing if you're still interested in possibly selling. Right? And then I like what you did after that. You went into trying to investigate and do discovery on why they're thinking about selling. So that's cool. I appreciate it. That helps. Just, just listen, slow play it. Roll, like slow roll it. Like, and if you go in there slow and they're like, what, what, what do you want? What, what's going on? It's like, well, hold on, sir. Like, I'm just calling you to see how you're doing. Number one, I know you have a house here that you might be interested in selling. That's why I was calling. If you just want to get to the point, see when people react that way, then it makes me react a certain kind of way. Cause I know that I'm here for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. Well, listen, I'm calling to see what I can do to help you today. It sounds like you're having a really bad day. Right? So what can I do to help you, man? You know, like I love running into those type of people that want to try to stereotype me as somebody who's just trying to be a taker because I'm the exact opposite. And I'm, and I'm ready to stand up for that. See, when, you, when, you, when, you're, when your intentions are so pure to try to help the other person, you get into a place where you could care less what other people think and how they're going to react to you. Because if they react to you negatively, I'm going to bring it right back to them because they don't know me. I'm here to help them whether they want to believe it or see it or think it. That's what I'm there for. And I'll fight with them about it <laughs> if I have to. And I've won a lot of people over like that because they realize, wait a minute, this guy just trying to help. And then a lot of them, you know, that are in that mindset, they're just stuck. They'll just never believe that people actually want to help other people. But that's okay, right? Because it becomes a, a numbers game forever. So have confidence in your intentionality for the call. 100%. And take, 100%. And base all your questions off of genuine curiosity. I exactly. Like Walk into every call, not giving an absolute flying shit what anybody thinks. This is a, that was probably my favorite part of this call so far. Oh, yeah. I was going to say another word, but I didn't want to go that far with it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Next, who's got the next question? Thanks for the question, Tanner. That was really good, man. It's a really good question. I want to, I want to. Look. 
35 with the top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me.